We begin fractions with an important axiom from the real number system. This axiom states that every real number a, except for 0, has a multiplicative inverse, denoted by a raised to minus 1, also called a inverse. The key property of the multiplicative inverse is that when you multiply a by its multiplicative inverse, you will always get 1. So our first fraction rule is an axiom simply defining the symbol a raised to minus 1. We have two different symbols for multiplicative inverse, a inverse and 1 over a. They mean exactly the same thing. Since 0 doesn't have a multiplicative inverse, 0 inverse and 1 divided by 0 is not defined. Next, let's look at the binary operation division. Division is not included in the real number system, so it must be defined. We define division from multiplication. a divided by b is defined as the product of a and the multiplicative inverse of b. This is valid for all real numbers a and b, except for b equal to 0. Thus, our next rule is simply the definition of division. We have two ways of writing division, and they mean exactly the same thing. When we divide two numbers, both the numerator and the denominator can be real numbers, as long as the denominator is not a zero. However, when both a and b are integers, then a divided by b is called a common fraction, which is a rational number. If one of them is not an integer, then a divided by b is called a non-comma fraction, or simply just a fraction. Next, we have the following fraction result. It says that b times a divided by b is equal to a, where again, b cannot be zero. Instead of trying to visualize this, just view it as manipulating meaningless symbols. By the definition of division, b times a over b is equal to b times a multiplied by b inverse. We have the commutative law for multiplication, which tells us that I can interchange these last two terms and write this as b times b inverse times a. By the definition of multiplicative inverse, the product of b with its multiplicative inverse is 1, and 1 times a is a. Our next fraction rule tells us that any number a divided by 1 is equal to the same number a. By definition, a divided by 1 is equal to a times 1 inverse. The multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1, since 1 times 1 is 1. So this is equal to a times 1, which is equal to a. The next rule states that any real number a divided by itself is equal to 1. Unless, of course, a is 0. You may think of this as having 6 donuts and dividing it among 6 people, which will give each person 1 donut. Better, by definition, a divided by a is the same as a times a inverse, which is by definition equal to 1. The next rule tells us how to multiply fractions. To do the product of 2 over 3 and 1 over 3, we get the fraction where the numerator is the product of the numerators, 2 times 1, which is 2, and a denominator, which is the product of the denominators, or 3 times 3, which is 9. In general, a divided by b multiplied by c divided by d is ac over bd. This is also pretty simple to show from the definition of division and quite easy to memorize. Just multiply the numerators and the denominators separately. Our next rule tells us that in a fraction a divided by b, I can multiply both sides by a real number c as long as c is not zero. This is very useful if I want to rewrite a fraction such that it has a specific value for 
the denominator. This rule is also often used from the right to the left, and in this case we say that we cancel C. The proof of this result follows from the previous one and the fact that C divided by C is equal to 1. Moving on to addition of fractions. If I have two fractions with the same denominator B, I can simply add the numerators. A over B plus C over B is A plus B over C. To see why, A over B plus C over B is by definition of division, A times B inverse plus C times B inverse. By the right distributive law, I can write this as A plus C times B inverse, which by the definition of division is exactly the same thing as A plus C over B. We have some sign rules for fractions and these sign rules follow from previous sign rules. First, we have different signs, which gives us minus A over B. Next, we have the same sign, so A over B. Next, the ratio of two fractions, A over B divided by C over D. First, the inverse of a fraction C over D is equal to D over C. The numerator and the denominator switch places. The ratio of two fractions can be converted into a product of two fractions, the product of the numerator fraction and the inverse of the denominator fraction. A over B divided by C over D is equal to A over B times D over C which we can also write as AD over BC. Our final fraction rule tells us how to add two fractions when the denominators are different. First, we need to make the denominators equal, so we multiply the first fraction by D, A times D over B times D. We multiply the second fraction by B, C times B over D times B. Now we have the same denominators, we can simply add the numerators. And we have AD plus BC over BD.